Welcome to Past Us. Today in this video, we'll discuss about top 7 actors that died from Boy and the Hood. You don't know what I'll be getting. I'll be fucking no dope heads. I might let them suck my dick, but I don't be fucking them. Boys and the Hood is a 1991 American Hood movie that was produced by Stephen Nicolades and DJ Poo and was directed by John Singleton. Boys and the Hood was released on July 12, 1991 in North America. The movie received positive reviews with a 98% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 73 out of 100 from Metacritic. The movie was selected to be in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress to be preserved because it was considered to be culturally significant in 2002. This movie was the directorial debut for John Singleton. Many actors from Boys and the Hood are not alive today. Here is the list of actors from Boys and the Hood who died. But before starting the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 7. Lloyd Fernandez Avery II. <laughs> Lloyd was an American actor. He was best known for his character in John Singleton's Oscar nominated film Boys in the Hood. Avery is best known as the street thug who shot and killed Ricky while he ran for his life down the alley. Avery would play out this role in real life and end up behind bars for double murder. He was eventually murdered in a cell in 2005. Although his career was short-lived, he had a few minor roles in Poetic Justice and Menace to Society. He died on September 4, 2005 in Crescent City, California after being beaten and strangled to death by his Pelican Bay State Prison cellmate Kevin Robbie. Number 6. Lexi Donald Bigham Lexi Donald was an American film and television actor. Bigham appeared in numerous independent films and television series. His prominent roles came in the film Seven, Boys in the Hood. Hey! Hey, little man! Catch! Bigham died in a car accident in Los Angeles on December 17, 1995, at the age of 27, shortly after filming High School High. Number 5. Jesse Lawrence Ferguson one less nigga out in the streets we have to worry about. Jesse Lawrence was an American actor. He was best known for playing the self-hating police officer in John Singleton's Academy Award-nominated film Boys in the Hood 1991. Ferguson's most well-known role occurred at the relative end of his career when he played a dirty cop in the film Boys in the Hood. I didn't do nothing. You think you're tough. You think you're tough, huh? He died in 2019. Police sources told the site that Jesse's cause of death is delivered to be natural and there are no suspicious circumstances, although Jace said his father seemed healthy and sprightly in the days before his death. Number 4. Whitman Blount Mayo Jr. Whitman was born in New York City and grew up in Harlem and later Queens. At the age of 17, he moved with his family to Southern California, where he attended Fontana High School before enlisting in the United States Army, serving from 1951 to 1953 during the Korean War. During this time, he began acting. He was being well known by his great performance in Boys and the Hood. Ain't nobody from outside bringing down the property value. It's these folk Aww. shooting each other and selling that crack rock and shit. On 2001, at the age of 70, Mayo died. Police sources told the side that Jesse's cause of death is delivered to be natural. And there are no suspicious circumstances, although Jace said his father seemed healthy and sprightly in the days before his death. C c come on, boy, now be careful. Now you got to get your shit together. Now I can help you out when you're ready, but you got to be ready. Number three, Esther Scott. Man, I, I guess you can smell a sex in the air or something, right? Esther Scott, an actress who specialized in playing matriarchal roles in films and on television, most notably in the movies Boys in the Hood. In Boys in the Hood, John Singleton's 1991 movie about the challenges young black men faced growing up in South Central Los Angeles, Miss Scott played the grandmother of the protagonist's love interest. In a memorable scene, she chases the young man out of her granddaughter's bedroom while wielding a meat cleaver. She died on February 14th in Los Angeles at the age of 66. Scott had a heart attack and was found unconscious in her home in Santa Monica. She died at the UCLA Medical Center. Number 2. John Singleton Boys in the Hood 
It is an important movie. This movie was written and directed by a young black man who is only 23 years old. He's with us today. Welcome, John Singleton. 28 years ago, John Singleton's feature debut, Boys in the Hood 1991, opened a cinematic window into the bleak realities of life in South Central Los Angeles. It also created something entirely new, while Spike Lee paved the way Boys in the Hood arguably made Singleton the first studio filmmaker to find mainstream commercial success while representing a little represented part of society by tackling a very thorny subject in a way that had rarely been seen in a film of its caliber. It humanized its characters as victims of larger systemic issues rather than stereotypes. You know, open-minded black man would do in raising his son and so I could contrast that to, to the way, you know, his son's two friends would be raised just by their mother. Mm -hmm. John dies on January 6th, 1968, at the age of 51 after suffering a stroke. In the 1991 film, earned him two Oscar nods and a spot in history as the youngest person and first African-American ever nominated for Best Director. Singleton died in Los Angeles after a stroke. Number 1. Dedrick Dwayne Gobert I want one of them hoochies over there. You don't know what I'll be getting. I'll be fucking no dope heads. I might let them suck my dick, but I don't be fucking them. Dedrick Dwayne was also an American film actor best known for his role in film Boys and the Hood. Dedrick Dwayne Fontenot in Louisiana, Gobert made his film debut in the 1991 John Singleton film Boys in the Hood. In the film, he portrayed the role of Dookie, a friend of Darren Doughboy Baker Ice Cube. Gobert's character was noted for his ever-present pacifier. The character's pacifier has been cited as the origin for the pacifier trend that was popular among teenagers and young adults in the early 1990s. Flavor Flav, who wore one around his neck in a Public Enemy video, has also been cited as the originator. Gobert was shot to death on November 19, 1994, in the parking lot of a pizza parlor at Mira Loma, California. Y'all trying to scare me. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.